greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you are welcome to my new broadcasting, A Prosperous Soul. This is your pastor, Yeti. Before we start our Prosperous Soul, I want to say this, on Saturday I'm leaving, I'm traveling back to Belgium for three months. So, tomorrow and um, Saturday and Sunday, there will be no broadcasting. The earliest I will do it again is on Monday in my afternoon. So that will be in Pacific time in your early morning. So, be aware, the broadcasting is not stopping. It only takes some time to fly to depart, to arrive, to depart and arrive, and then start working again. So, today we're going to talk about exercise and nutrition. Good for the body is the work of the body, and good for the soul is the work of the soul. And good for either is to work of the other. If you do not recognize the benefits of self-control, exercise and nutrition's, nutritious eating will be impossible. Yes, I believe all things are possible with God. And all the same time you are a co- Liberal with God. I will not do it for you. He gives you grace, strength, and anointing. He gives you wisdom to make good decisions. And yes, He also gives you the Holy Spirit to empower you to walk in self control. This is very important. You don't need to pray for self control as much as you need to thank. God for already giving it to you through the Holy Spirit because it is fruit of the Spirit as listed in Galatians 5. The necessity of exercise and nutrition is a clearly laid out in the prosperous soul. We are doing it now with you. These are vehicles that help take you back to God's original intent for healthy, abundant living. Humankind has come <clears throat> excuse, me, excuse me. Humankind has come a long way since the Garden of Eden, if I may say so. The advances have been phenomenal. But also the setbacks are equally as stunning when I say setbacks. I am specifically referring to the lifestyle many have embraced regarding how to eat and manage their lives. People have never been as sedentary as they are today. In theory, one would never have to leave their bed to complete a full day of work. The occasional trip to the kitchen is all that is required. Add to this sedentary way of being what we find in our kitchens. Worse still is when the trip to the kitchen is replaced by a quick journey to the drive through window. Don't feel condemned about this. Condemnation never leads to transformation. Remember, self-control begins with a vision, and without a vision you will continue perishing little by little through unrestrained bad habits. So I encourage you, go back to the first two chapters of Genesis and rediscover how humankind lived before sin entered the picture. I realize we can't go back to the Garden of Eden, but it's worthwhile to consider the context. Adam and Eve spent all of their time being active. They were not sedentary in the least. There were no televisions, sets, armchairs, or couches. They also eat of the land, 
This was not a restriction, but rather a blessing. God had made an abundance of living food for them to eat. It grew directly out of God's rich soil and was filled with all of the nutrition that he intended. Exercise and healthy eating habits actually helped us return to God's original blueprint for humanity. At least, the best of our ability in 21st century, his purpose is for us to be strong and healthy. God does not desire for his people to be weak and sick. This picture we're given of Eden is a powerful illustration of who God is and what he desires to his children. It is a glimpse of his best and of our ideal lifestyle. So, what is the key to exercising victory in your diet and fitness? Vision. How would you like to feel in nature? How would you like to look in the future? What size are you? Are you sick and tired, or are you fit, healthy, and filled with energy? The strength and clarity of your vision will determine your measure of commitment. Yesterday, you identified some phys physical areas where you needed to exercise self-control. That only comes through having a clear vision of the change you want to produce. Now, I want to help you come up with a strategy for healthy eating and exercise. And I'm going to make this very simple. My goal is to help you start the process and stick with it, even when you feel like giving up. I will give you reflection questions. Why do you think so many people are frustrated when it comes to diet and fitness? Another one. Why do you think fitness and healthy eating are important to fulfill God's plan and purpose for your life? Another one, how does having a clear vision help you remain committed to eating right and exercising regularly? And here is my action steps. Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. Once again, the key here is to take one step at a time. Every small step advances you toward your vision. Don't overwhelm yourself with obligations. Start somewhere and celebrate your progress. Increase your goals only as you are able. And remember, you are what you eat. Write down what you would like to see happen in your life in the areas of eating and fitness. Take this time to brainstorm. Take, listen to God. Consider how you would like to experience transformation. Go for it, my dear ones. Take a chance. And there is no judgment in all this. Even if you hear some strong words, it's not my intention to judge. Every person needs his own time, his own goals, his own vision. All I only want to do is to love you and to encourage you. So remember, in this few days there will be no broadcasting. What is new my broadcast speaker the link is also brought on the St. Matthew's website and I will give you the link to this just give me a second Okay, so here is the website link. The, so it's um, HT, HTTP, 
and then um, double point with slash slash sint org contact uh, slash or dash directory point php or just type in sintmatthews.org so uh, it is a church that I'm working as an associate pastor and so my broadcasting is broad also there you go to the, the, the right site and click on um, the community links and then it comes open community links you see my parish house of root website and then mo from mother yet is daily speaker audio you click on that and it comes open so enjoy it blessings to all of you my dear ones and remember the first broadcasting will be on monday in my afternoon pacific time morning love you guys bye